Sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my literal forge. But now that I've turned it off, we can start discussing our business. If you're watching this, that means that you want to learn how to play the guitar. And luckily for you, I have an unsightly amount of experience playing guitar. I played guitar at my brother's funeral, and it brought everyone to tears. I played guitar at a nursing home, and after I started playing, an old man started looking around frantically while grunting. He had tears in his eyes and was looking around to try and find out who was projecting all of this god juice into his old disgusting ears. Unfortunately though, his body couldn't handle the force of him whipping his neck around, so he died. So as you can infer, I'm pretty good with music. If you don't believe me, why don't we take a look at one of my past students that I taught and see how she's doing. If you're crying after that, don't worry, I won't make fun of you this time. Take as much time as you need to to recuperate. And after all that, if you still don't believe me, and you're sitting there thinking, <laughs> Then I'm sorry, because I don't know what to tell you. After all, I don't speak the language of fools. So we're just gonna go ahead and go straight to my lesson. The first thing you're gonna do is exercise those fingers. Because to play the guitar, you need fingers that can move in every direction possible. That being said, let's start working those fingers of yours. Go get a hot dog from the kitchen and start twirling it like a pen while listening to Hello by OMFG. So what you're going to be doing should look something like this. And yes, I know that this seems unnecessary, but after doing this exercise for 3 hours a day, for 2 years, your fingers will grow to the size of water bottles. And it doesn't stop there. Now that you have jacked fingers, you can also defeat that Asian kid at school named Roger who's been stealing all of your chocolate milk at lunch. Just approach him with the same hot dog that you've been using for the past two years, and then throw it at him like it's a throwing knife. Gee whiz, I bet Roger now looks very silly with that hot dog sticking out of his forehead. Anyways, now that your fingers are ripped, it's time to make your guitar. That's right, I said make, not buy. Buying a guitar is a horrid idea. I remember back when I was an amateur, I bought a guitar, and when I played it, I almost bled out. Instead, go up to a tree and knock it down with your fingers. If they aren't strong enough to do so, go and dig up Roger. You're going to take the hot dog out of his forehead and then train for another two months. Now that you have your slab of wood, it's time to mold it into the general shape of a guitar. To do this, apply for a job as a shoe shiner, and then practice rubbing things down with a rag. If any of the customers tell you, Hey man, that's enough. The friction is destroying them. Get on your feet and then beat them dead. After they fall unconscious, begin shining their shoes again until they are nothing but atoms. After all of this, go back to your slab of wood and begin shining it into the general shape of a guitar. Now that you have the base of your guitar, you're going to need to find yourself some strings. Go out into the wilderness and find five animals of different sizes. After you find your animals, kill them and dissect them. I'm not a biologist, so I can't tell you exactly what you're looking for, but just sift through their organs until you find something string-like that you think you can tie onto your guitar. Now that you have your guitar, it's time to find out how to play it. Learning all of the notes and memorizing them is very difficult. It also takes a lot of time, but if you use my methods, you can acquire the skills very quickly. The first thing you'll need is to go to the Vatican. You will need to go to the Vatican because if you wish to ascertain your guitar abilities, you will require the help from holy services. And as much as I wish your task involved beating up the Pope to ascertain his title as the most holy fella in the world, that's not what you're going to be doing. However, you do need to be in the presence of the Pope. So find out his daily activities and then find out a way to isolate him. I remember back when I was doing this, I tackled the Pope into an open door and then locked it quickly so that his bodyguards couldn't get in. Now that it's just you and the Pope, you need to run for cover, because the Pope was issued a gun for safety. As the Pope begins shooting you, you need to start playing your guitar, because you need to get the Pope to dance. This may be difficult for two reasons. Number one, because you are under fire, and number two, because you don't know how to play. All you need to do is just strum your guitar until you get something that sounds vaguely like a song. When you do, peek out from behind your cover and look at the Pope. When you do, look to see if the Pope is dancing. 
If he is, he'll eventually stop shooting and then begin breakdancing. After he finishes breakdancing, he's gonna try and thank you for making him feel young again. And then he'll offer to perform a ritual for you, one that will fill you full of musical prowess. That being said, let's go over the final step in this tutorial, which is how you're going to survive the ritual. This ritual is everything but a cakewalk. That being said, let's go ahead and go over what you shouldn't be doing during the ritual. First things first, the ritual is going to be taking place inside of a circle that the Pope drew on the ground. Don't step out of the circle, because if you do, the ritual is going to end. Don't listen to the voices. If you do, disregard what you heard, or else it will turn to ash. Do not acknowledge the chinchilla that keeps staring daggers at you. Do not put the Weezer album in the cassette player. Do not drive around in the vehicle frame. Do not play Mario Kart with the now undead Sigmund Freud. And lastly, don't play Superman 64. That's just, that's just good advice in general. Now that I've told you about all the things that you shouldn't be doing, it's time that I teach you what you should be doing to complete the ritual. Now, I bet you've been wondering who that old man standing there this entire time has been. That is the god of music. He is also the gatekeeper between you and your new life as a guitarist. To convince him to bestow musical prowess upon you, go ahead and challenge him to a trial of combat. The god of music will then accept your challenge, as he is full of himself and in denial of the fact that he is elderly. During the trial, just club him into a pile of ash using your guitar. Even in his current state, the god of music may still be too stubborn to admit defeat. If this happens, just threaten to key his car. For those of you who don't know, his car is the vehicle frame that I told you not to drive earlier. Doing this will make him fearful, as he doesn't want his car's resale value to go down. Due to his fearfulness, he should now be rewarding you with musical prowess. And so there you have it. You can now play the guitar. Thank you for your time, and thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, subscribe, any of that. You know, it's not like I'm forcing you to. I mean, it's under the, under the current circumstances, I'm not going to force you to, but if the circumstances were different, I would be forcing... Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, be, I'd be forcing. But my inability to speak and jokes aside, thank you for watching, genuinely. I really do hope you have a good day. And yeah, tune in next week when I teach the plank constant to that pesky gerbil of yours. Thank you and have a good night.